Dr. Juliana Grimaldi, world-renowned psychology expert. Gordon Purdy of Albany, New York writes, Dr. Julie, my girlfriend says I never listen to her. Blah, 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 whatever. Then get this. She called me a narcissist. Me. Can you believe that? Me. You don't think I'm a narcissist, do you? Well, Gordon, the mere fact that you asked my opinion makes me think that you are not a narcissist. You are just a self-absorbed ass. You see, the classic narcissist is someone who has an overinflated sense of his or her abilities and expects to be recognized as superior, even when falling short of those lofty goals. Such a person will never admit failure, but blames others for his or her lack of success. So the boss calls me into his office today and he was like, Oh my God, will you just shut up and ask me about my unicycle? Seriously, if I didn't have to do your work and mine, I'd have time to practice riding it. And as necessary, the blame keeps shifting. So Fred walks into my office today and I'm like, Shut up! If you wouldn't keep me working late every night cleaning up Fred's messes, I'd be riding my unicycle at regionals right now. Unicycle, huh? Yeah. I'm going to be a movie star instead. You know, my grandmother was in a car commercial. In the 1960s, Hollywood was filled with talented professionals suffering from this disorder, known then as megalomania. Movie stars and producers would often meet to discuss projects, but before any contract was signed, a pep talk was in order. You're going to take this industry by storm. There's no one you're the star, darling. You make things happen. There is no Hollywood without you. Okay, I'm ready. Hold on, hold on. You are gorgeous. Okay, let's talk. Such talks often ended up on the so-called casting couch, and the discussions were very revealing. I hope that answers your question, Gordon, and I hope you enjoyed season one of Ask Dr. Julie. Join me next season when I'll answer such hard-hitting questions as what does the pet you own say about you? Why does adding your beep make things that are not necessarily profane sound really dirty? And we'll reveal who it was that ate Dan H's BLT. The shocking revelation is coming in season two. Till then, I'm Dr. Giuliana Grimaldi reminding everybody that it's not all about you. It's all about me. Goodbye. And Line. <laughs> <laughs> Take this. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>